Some of you, if you watched my last video, you probably remember that we got hit by a pretty bad storm here uh, about a month ago and it tore the dock up pretty, pretty good. Um, we do have power back on the dock, but we don't have water yet. So, but I want to wash my boat because it's getting to be the weekend and I'm planning on using it and I want it to be clean. So, what I think I'm going to try to do is to see if I can turn some power into water. I've had this uh, pump sitting in my garage for the past uh, couple of years actually. Um, this is a submersible pump and typically what it's used for is if somebody has a flooded basement or maybe they have a boat that's flooded and the bilge pump is not working, you can put this down in the water and it pumps the water out. Uh, but what it allows you to do is to hook a hose uh, to this inlet right here or this outlet right here and it'll pump that water out through the hose. So what I'm going to do is to uh, take this rope that I've already tied to it, tie it off to a cleat, drop it in the water and see if I can get enough water pressure through here uh, to wash the boat. Um, the water in this lake is pretty clean, not you can drink straight from the lake clean, but definitely clean enough to wash a boat. So, we're going to give this a shot and see how it works. Wish me luck. Okay, so this is what we did here. Here is my pump. Uh, I've got it uh, tied to a cleat here, just hanging down. I've just got it barely in the water because the lower you let the pump go, the higher it's got to pump the water to get up to your level. So you don't want to make it work any harder than it has to. So I've just got it barely in the water there. Got a power cord going to a uh, extension cord there that's plugged in. It's on. I actually have, you can see that I've, I've got a hose hooked up to it as well. I can feel water coming, uh, coming through that, so that's good. And when we pick up the hose here, uh, uh, just how much water pressure do we have? <laughs> we have a little bit, not a lot. Um, but technically, it's enough to rinse the boat. So, that being said, I guess we will commence to washing. Although this job is going to be a lot slower than most jobs, but we can do it.
Hey folks, just a quick tip when you're cleaning your boat. White fenders look really good on a nice clean boat, but when they get a little dirty, they don't look so great. So let me show you a real quick way you can get them looking all nice and white and fresh again. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually just wet these down really good all around. done that I've got some spray cleaner with some bleach in it so I'm just gonna go ahead and spray that real well all over the fender you want to be real liberal with this because you're just gonna let it soak in make sure you get the ends as, as well because that's uh, that's really a dirty part right there get the other one All right. help work that in a little bit I'm just gonna kind of brush that in a little bit as well just get a little bit of scrubbing on there Help to get some of that grime off. There we go. A lot of that dirt's already starting to come off pretty well there. You can see it. The dock box here is turning brown, so that's. That's a good sign if we're getting some of that stuff off. Finish scrubbing these off. I'm actually gonna go put a little bit more on there. Let that sit for a little bit, let it soak in while we do a few other things, and we'll come back in a few minutes and see what we got. Okay, these have been soaking for about seven or eight minutes, so let's rinse them off and see what we got. Okay, I would say that is a lot better. Not like when they were brand new, but a heck of a lot better than about 15 minutes ago. 
So, and as always, of course, if you decide it needs a second treatment, if you want to make it a little bit wider, you can always do that. But that's my cleaning tip for the day. Happy boating. So, did it work? Technically, yes, it did. I was actually able to wash my boat. Was it the same experience as using a water hose? Definitely not. As you saw, the water pressure wasn't nearly what one would be used to uh, at a house or even at their dock. Um, but technically, I was able to wash my boat. It took a lot longer because of a lower water pressure. Um, the particular pump I have is one-sixth of a horsepower. Uh, I think if I had one that was maybe a third of a horsepower or a half horsepower, it definitely would have been a lot better. So if it's something that you're thinking about doing, uh, you definitely want to get a more powerful pump. And I actually, I think if you do that, it would actually probably work pretty well for you. So uh, anyway, uh, that's it for this particular video. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell so you get a notification when a new video uh, is being posted here. And please, share it with all your friends and family, especially if you know they love boating. So uh, do me a favor. Let me know what kind of tips do you have for washing your boat. Uh, write down in the comments uh, any unusual things you've done, different things you've done, something that maybe the rest of the boating community doesn't know about that you'd like to share with us. Maybe we'll actually take one of those suggestions and try it in one of these videos. Thank you so much and happy boating.